Um, it's been a while since we've had a proper war against someone who could defend themselves. Um, and I don't think that's necessarily the case now either. So, uh, yeah. We're going to win this very, very badly. Um, I'm not really concerned about the outcome of this. Nothing unites like war. Maybe this will snap the king out of his depression. Or it'll kill him. Either way. Um, go somewhere else. Uh, I'm learning about math. Yay. Alright. And yeah, they're just slingshotting back and forth. Oh yay, Typhoid ended in Acre after the troops left. Uh, beat them too. No, you don't. I see you there. I probably... I don't want Leon, so I'm going to decline this. Um, I want a bit of prestige too. Let's move up to Tiberius. Um, yeah, they can't really fight us. Uh, and they're already ready to give up. I'm not concerned. Uh, but they could start getting antsy once we actually... Uh, Okay, we almost got this. Alright, let's go on to Beirut. Now, one of the things I might do is I might grab the title for Urban, uh, from him. So that, you know, I can get the title. Uh, okay. Alright. I'm moving over there. Um, I thought for sure he'd go back into Urban. Uh, anyway, I, I do this because so I'd have something to give away as uh, Jerusalem, um, instead of Galilee, and I might do that. That seems like a good idea. Um, all right, no problems here. Uh, since, since I already have a hold on the on the province itself. It's not really going to be that hard to do that. Well, let's move Gwesenek's army into here. Because um, there's a large castle there. Um, we just need to hold our fronts and we haven't got another offer so they're not that desperately in need of a uh, peace. So. Right, and we've got once we defeat this army, I think I'm going to move it out um, to kind of keep the lines moving forward. Oh, they're still fighting. All right. Um, yeah, you're the king. You can go over the water if you want. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to attack any of these provinces, so I'm going to move them out. Uh, Frank, go in there. 60 gold. 3,000 troops. Go, go scare them. Yeah. They'll probably give up by the time they even get there. But I don't really care. <laughs> Alright, so that was... They won that. Uh, let's keep going. Now, I might lose a couple of these battles getting a bit overextended, but... It... It, uh... Goes towards what I'm doing. That looks hilarious. Okay. <laughs> do you do you see this? Do you see this? Right here. Like gain service of a, temp a regiment of twenty two fifty Templar Templars that people were fighting. Talk about mercenary. Wow. Uh, oh, we're gonna take twenty thousand gold. Yeah, we're gonna take twenty thousand gold. Hey, thank thanks, Templars. Cool. 
Thanks for all the all the money. Please save us from all the money. Many many sevens of money. Don't, don't ask. Um. All right, and once we capture this province, this should be all we need to do. <clears throat> Yeah, because that's not going to fall anytime soon. Um, and the other one also has a large castle. The reason I keep pausing that is because uh, sometimes those come in quick succession and they have things behind them. Okay, now we can go talk to the Templars. Uh, I have, ooh, now more of it started fighting them too. Unlikely allies. Uh, let's grab. Which was the one we wanted? Urbid. Um, and then Super Peace. We don't want Leon. We recognize his claim to Leon. Um, and Glesenic. No. Red. And... Give us this. And he accepted. Alright. So that's excellent news. Um, <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is, first of all, participate in our armies. And then we're going to create the, king the kingdom. Uh, create the Duke of Galilee. Oh, wait, where's that army? Probably didn't even get past our borders. Oh, oh here were some Templars coming over to fight us. Um, waste of money, but I got 20,000 from them, so I don't really care about money. Um, actually lost some prestige from that, from giving up that title. I don't really care, though. So now we have complete control over, uh, Jerusalem, and we have our first province for Syria. So that's good. Uh, which makes this uh, an attractive target now. Anyway, what I was doing, create title, and now we can actually see how many we need for Syria. That's 20. Uh, which is so far the largest thing, largest one we've gone after. Uh, I, we don't actually have Arabia Petre. I'm stupid. Damn. Did I already do it? Yeah, yeah, I already did it. All right, uh, I'm gonna find people to give these to. Let's check our reputation. It's probably like a 2.4 or something like that. 3.2. Oh yeah, one more. I, I took that another province. Okay. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'll be back and uh, we'll see where we stand there. All right. Here's the uh, end of. I didn't realize I m married him off to a Persian Muslim. I probably didn't do that on purpose. Um. We'll do the con deal with the consequences of that when the time comes. Uh, I probably just wasn't paying attention. Um, anyway. Um, she doesn't have a... This is a culture thing. Um, we have the, the uh, Duchy of Galilee here for Malog. I just picked somebody young. Um, and somebody who has... Uh, pretty much everybody, <clears throat> except these guys, but Gimarch here, uh, is, yeah, he's got, uh, uh, this is dad, um, he's got a more solid line of succession, so I'm not really worried about these two here. Uh, I could always kill them. Oh, oh, holy crap! Oh, that's, I don't want to kill the crown prince of, Eng of England. See, I told you that would be interesting, that if I did that. Oh, uh, I might lose the Duke of Galilee to the King of England. That would actually be pretty cool. Uh, then I made the, the, the Duchy of Jerusalem here. I, I, I actually went out, went out of my way, and I made Charles. This kid is really good. I made Charles uh, the Duke, because it's unlikely uh, that this uh, Lerans here is going to become... He is really, really good <clears throat> for being age 7. He's extremely good. Um, 
it's unlikely that uh, he will live long enough, being depressed in 48, uh, will live long enough for him to become our uh, successor. So, uh, he's also modest, which is, I think it either prevents you from becoming the emperor, I, I got modest after I was the emperor, um, it either prevents you from becoming the emperor or makes it harder for you to do so. Um, so, yeah. Oh, also, I can uh, change my laws back. That reminded me to ecclesiastical balance. Um, so I get more troops and stuff. Uh, I don't know, I, I feel kind of bad uh, about um, doing that to the, to the uh, Templars. I think it was like a direct result of my de declaration of war that made them declare war on them. Um, ooh, holy crap. <clears throat> Only two more provinces, though, uh, in our old homeland. I, I do like taking taking a look at that. Hopefully France gets off their ass and, and decides to deal with it. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, I feel kind of bad for what he did with the Templars, but I actually am going to end up t attacking them again because of the fact that they still have these two. And I do want them now because they are part of Syria. But now I've realized my mistake. Uh, that I could, in fact, have made a a duke directly from these provinces here in Venice's area, Arabia Petrae. Uh, and it, in fact, would have been a much better idea to do that than what I did, uh, because they were pretty much, oh, holy crap, Seleuks. No Muslim, one Muslim is as much as bad as another. Um, let's hope the, the Seleuks get really big, so we have an interesting rival in, in the U3, unlike Venice. Uh, it's cool to have a rival, and Venice has pretty much been our kind of rival the whole game. Actually, it's not really much of a rival. We, we've been just kind of pushing them around, and, uh, you know, I'd imagine they don't like us very much. Um, so, uh, I think it's a good thing. Uh, uh, actually, I'll let it run to the end of the year, and I'm going to end the session. I said I was gonna I was I was gonna complete the game in one sitting, uh, but that was because I was feeling really burnt out and just didn't want to play. And I've kind of got a little bit of fire back in me, so um, uh, I'm what I'm going to try to do though, because I do want to finish this. I'm kind of itching to to see how the world ends up, and because uh, um, I want to get to the parts of the game that are really interesting, where. Um, you have the, the plagues and stuff happening to you, it weakens you, it makes it so that it's it's harder to just coast along. Um, what I'm going to try to do, and I probably won't achieve this, is I'm going to try to do 10 years for every session, so that's probably about an, an hour and a half session or something like that, of actual recording, um, to make it so that, uh, yeah, uh, I get done fairly quickly. Um, and then in between that, oh, I'll do the, the uh, either, if I can get Dwarf Fortress to work that, or uh, uh, Minecraft. So I'm going to call it a day, and uh, see you next time. Let's play Crusader King.